Hey you guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to create an iCloud account. I'm going to be showing you how to do this on your iOS device as well as on your MacBook, so have one or both of these devices on hand so that you can follow along as we go through. Let's jump right in. To start off, I'm going to show you guys how to do this on your phone. This will be identical to an iPad as well, so you can use that device if you have it. First thing we're going to do is search iCloud in our browser. And assuming that you don't already have an iCloud account, you're just going to be brought to this sign-in page here. So you'll select sign in. And because I already have an Apple ID, it's going to prompt me to sign in with my face ID. This could also be um, a passcode or password, but we are not signing in right now. We are creating a new one. So what I'm going to do is select the use a different Apple ID just beneath the continue button. And now it's going to bring me back to another sign in page where I can manually enter an email or phone number. As I said before, we're creating an Apple ID, we're not signing in, so we're going to scroll down and just beneath the forgotten your password option here, we're going to find a create Apple ID. So we'll select this and now we're going to be brought to this, to this information page where we're just going to follow all of the prompts on the screen, starting with our first and last name, the country we're from, our date of birth, then we're going to enter email we want to be used for our Apple ID. Beneath this, we're going to create a password. Once I select the password option, beneath this, it's just going to give me requirements of the password. So we need eight or more characters. We need upper and lowercase letters and at least one number. So once you have checked off all of these boxes, your password should be good to go. And you're just going to confirm the password beneath. Another thing you can look for is the strength of the password. So if I start typing a password here, it's going to show me what the strength is and if I'm missing any of these requirements. Ideally, you'll want a strong password, but it's entirely up to you. And we're going to put in our phone number and we're going to select how we want to verify this phone number. We can select text message or phone call. And what that's going to do is just send a verification code or number that we're going to type in on the screen. Once we've typed in that verification code, we just have to verify that we're not that we're not a robot. Um, by typing in the code here or the letters here. If the code is too hard to read, you can just select new code here and it's going to give you another one. So once you hit continue, you're going to get a verification email in the one that you entered. And so you'll have to just go in and verify your email. And once your email has been verified, your Apple ID is ready to use and you can sign in with it. As a bonus tip today, I'm going to show you guys how to sign out of your Apple ID. You can sign out a couple of different ways you can do it on your iPhone through your settings. You can also sign out on the iCloud web just like we were on before. So I'll show you how to do both. So to sign out of your Apple ID or your iCloud, you're just gonna go up to the top right to your little icon here. I'm gonna bring up a few different things and this is gonna be where you find out that's where you find that sign out option. You'll click this and it's simply gonna sign you out right away. To do this on your iPhone through your settings. You're just gonna launch your settings you're going to go up to your Apple ID at the top here and then scroll down to the very bottom sign out option here. You'll click this and it's going to sign you out. Before you do this, though, you can select to toggle on any of these to keep data on your phone and then you'll just continue by signing out. OK, now let's jump over to the MacBook and I'm going to show you guys how to do the same things. Hey, if you're finding this video helpful, you can also support the channel through super stickers. Super stickers basically just help fund the channel and it helps us continue to create content for you guys. Thanks, and let's get back to the video. Okay, so to create a new Apple ID on your MacBook, you're simply gonna go up to the top left corner and you're gonna select the Apple logo. This is gonna bring a drop down menu, and we're gonna go in, we're gonna go into our system settings. Up at the top on the left hand side, we'll find our Apple ID. Um, if you already have one, you'll be signed in. If you don't, you'll be given the option to create one right away. But if like me, you're already signed in, you'll scroll down and you'll sign out. Okay, so now that I'm signed out, I have a couple different options here. I can either sign into an existing account, but if I don't have one, we'll find the option to create one at the bottom here. So we'll select that we don't have an account. It's going to automatically prompt us to create an Apple ID. So we're just going to follow these prompts first by entering our date of birth, and then we'll hit next. We're going to start with creating the email address and password so we'll enter our name. Here we have an extra option that the web version doesn't offer us, and this is to get a free iCloud email address. So if you didn't have an email address that you wanted to use, or maybe you wanted a new email address for your Apple ID, what you can do is get a free iCloud email address created for you. And so you can select that, or you can manually enter one that you want to use. 
Then we'll have to create the password and just as before, it's gonna give us the requirements just beneath, um, letting us know what we need to include in our password for it to be usable. And if you wanted, you can check off the announcements box. If it's something you wanted, you'll receive um, Apple emails, communications, including announcements, marketing, um, recommendations, updates, etc. all of it. Um, if you wanted that, you'd just check off that box. But if you didn't, you would just leave that unchecked. Now, just as before, we'll have to enter a phone number um, and it will give us a code to verify with and you can select either a text message or a phone call. Once we hit next, we're going to receive that same email as before. This is gonna be to verify our emails. We'll have to just go into the email that we entered and verify the email so that it can be used. And once we do that, our Apple ID is ready to use and we can sign in with it. And as a bonus tip, I'll show you how to sign out of your Apple ID on your MacBook. We went over that briefly at the beginning, but I'll show you once again. We're gonna go up to the top left corner and select that Apple logo again. We'll go back into our system settings. And then we'll go back up to the top to our Apple ID. And then we're just gonna scroll down to the very bottom. And on the bottom left side, we'll find that sign out option here. Alrighty, you guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you found this helpful and you were able to successfully create an Apple ID. Thanks again, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video.